Lecture 3. By now you should have found a section and a lab, and you should attend those every week. If you haven't done that yet, talk to somebody on the course staff and we'll get you organized and caught up. Some announcements. First, homework 1 is due next Tuesday at 5 p.m. Note that you will not get an email when you submit homework 1. You get emails when you submit your projects, which are larger assignments. Homework in general in this course is graded on effort, which means that if you make a concerted effort to solve all of the problems, even if you don't get them right, you will get full credit on the homework. We'll automatically check the correctness of your homework submission. If it's correct, well then you'll certainly get credit. If it's not correct, then someone on the course staff will take a look and try to figure out if you were basically uh, working on this or not. And so as long as you've put in the effort to, to try to solve the problems, you will get full credit. Next week there will be a take-home quiz. And the quiz is going to be released next Wednesday, and it will be due a little bit less than 36 hours later on Thursday. The quiz is there to check and make sure that you're moving along with the class so far because very soon the class is going to become more intense and the concepts more difficult to grasp. And it's always the case that a few students get lost early and never catch up. This quiz is there to help you identify yourselves and uh, know that you need help early on. So it's uh, three points. So it's not a huge part of your grade, but it is something to pay attention to. It is graded for correctness. We expect you to get the problems right. Otherwise, it looks like a homework assignment. But it's special because it's worth an extra point, three instead of two. And if you get zero points on it, you'll need to come talk to somebody on the course staff so that we can get you back on track, uh, give you some coaching. Uh, if you both get a zero and you refuse to talk to us, then you will be dropped from the course. There are rules about the quiz. You can use your computer as you see fit to type things into the Python interpreter, watch course videos, read the online text, but this is something that you do by yourself. So don't talk to your friends about it, don't post on Piazza, and don't search for answers to the questions on the internet. We'll try to pick questions that don't have the answers on the internet, but you never know. So these are problems you're meant to solve yourself. Okay, and project one is posted this Friday, and it's due in just under two weeks, Thursday 9-19. Uh, I'll show you a demo of what the project is all about in the next lecture.